Welcome back to Rosemary's Kitchen. I'm Judge Aquilina, 30th Circuit Court Judge, and I invite you back into my kitchen for asparagus cheese tarts. You will start with a sheet of frozen puff pastry defrosted. When you buy the puff pastry, there's two in a sheet. There's nothing wrong with making two if you have a big crowd. You also need to buy balsamic glaze. It is a reduction. Eight to 12 ounces of baby Swiss cheese. Four to eight ounces of mozzarella. A block of cream cheese, that's eight ounces. And you also need Dijon mustard. About a pound, pound and a half of asparagus, thin to medium, a red, pepper, diced small, also green onions, about four cut thinly, a package of prosciutto, and you'll use probably about a quarter of it. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees and line a baking sheet with parchment paper or with foil. The first thing you need to do is to place your thawed puff pastry on your counter or on a cutting board and with a rolling pin, roll it out uh, to about the size of your pan. It comes a little thicker. You want it about half the thickness that you find it in from the store. Keep the rectangular shape. When you are satisfied, you will take a sharp knife and about a half an inch from the edge, you will take the blade and simply score it all the way around. Then I use a large salad fork. You can use any size fork you want. You need to prick holes in it all through the bottom throughout the hole, not the edge, but all the inside. And the reason for that is if you don't, it simply rises into a big ball and it will be really difficult to work with and your pastry will not turn out very well. Put that in the oven at 400 for about 10 to 12 minutes. It depends on your oven. It will just start to brown. You do not want it to cook all the way through. You just want it to start cooking in this form. After it just starts to brown, after it'll be 10 to 12 minutes, not more, pull it out and let it sit for a couple of minutes to cool. Meanwhile, you will take your block of cream cheese and in your mixer, put it along with about two good sized tablespoons of the Dijon mustard, whip it up, taste it. Sometimes I add another tablespoon or two. It just depends on how much flavor I want. You should be able to taste the Dijon. Then you will take that cheese mixture and spread it evenly inside where you've scored the pastry. Then you can place some cheese or simply place the asparagus tip to end. So on the top, you would have a tip and then the tip goes on the other end and you alternate it all the way through. It's easiest if you take one asparagus, measure from score to score, and then cut all of your asparagus so they are approximately the same. About a quarter of an inch apart, you will put that asparagus all through the tart. When you've completed that, you sprinkle the diced red pepper over it, you will sprinkle the onion, you will put the rest of your Swiss cheese and mozzarella and cover it really well. I then put the prosciutto and some extra red pepper and onion and it looks kind of like a big pizza, but it's not a pizza. And bake another 12 to 15 minutes, you don't want it to burn. You will watch, the edges will turn just a light brown and the cheese will all be melted and the asparagus will be cooked. And then you can wait a couple of minutes, take a very large long knife, or you can use cooking scissors and you will want to cut it into squares, whatever size you prefer for appetizers. You probably want to do two inch squares. You can make them bigger or smaller and then place them on your serving tray. Then I use the reduced balsamic and simply squirt it all over. This is a wonderful appetizer or side dish, especially for the end of the summer. See you next time on Rosemary's Kitchen. Enjoy cooking.